Hi, my name is Jason Collins, and this video is on present bias. One concept developed to account for anomalies in the exponential discounting model is present bias. Present bias occurs when we place additional weight on costs and benefits at the present time. One simple model of present bias is the quasi-hyperbolic discounting model, otherwise known as the beta-delta model. Under the quasi-hyperbolic discounting model, there are two discount factors applied to future costs and benefits. The first is beta, the short-term discount factor. All future payoffs are discounted by a single application of beta, a number between zero and one. The discount beta is applied simply because the payoff is not immediate. The higher the, the, higher the short-term discount factor, the less the agent discounts payoffs that are not received now. The second is the discount factor delta that is also present in the exponential discounting model. Each additional period of delay results in a discount of a future cost or benefit by a factor of delta. The discount factor delta is also a number between zero and one. The higher the discount factor, the less the agent discounts future costs and benefits. As for exponential discounting, an agent with a choice between alternative streams of payoffs under the beta delta model will seek to maximize the discounted utility of the future path of consumption. This equation provides a mathematical representation of the beta delta model with a stream of costs and benefits, x naught through to x capital T, incurred at periods zero through to capital T. U naught is the discounted utility of the stream of payoffs at time t equals zero. Xt is the payoff in period t. So U naught equals utility of x naught plus beta delta times utility of x1 plus beta delta squared times the utility of x2 plus beta times delta cubed plus the utility of x3 and th through to beta delta to the power of capital T times the utility of x capital T. And that in turn, make, turn equals utility of, of x naught plus beta times the sum from t equals one to t equals capital T of delta t times utility of xt. Delta lies between zero and one and beta lie between zero and one. The first period of delay results in a discount of the costal benefit by a factor of beta delta. Each further period of delay results in a discount of delta. As a result, the degree of discounting evolves over time as one, beta delta, beta delta squared, beta delta cubed, beta delta to the four, and so on. This progression results in a larger discount for the first period of delay, beta delta, than the degree of discount for each subsequent period of delay, delta. There is a relative weighting towards the present. Present bias of this nature can result in time inconsistency, with decisions at one point reversed at another if the agent is given the opportunity to change their mind. This figure illustrates the effect of present bias. Here we have a plot of the size of the discount as a function of t for a present biased agent with beta equals 0.75 and delta equals 0.9. The discount curve for an exponential discounter with delta equals 0.9 is also plotted. The curve for the present biased agent has a large drop for the first period of delay. From then on, the discount is proportionally the same as for the exponential discounter. We can read off the total discount factor at any time t from this chart. For example, the total discount factor for the exponential discounter is 0.9 at t equals 1, 0.81 at t equals 2, and 0.43 at t equals 8. The total discount factor for the present biased agent is 0.675 at t equals 1, 0.61 at t equals 2, and 0.32 at t equals 8. This figure shows the discount curve for present biased and exponential discounting agents with different parameters. The present biased agent and exponential discounter have the same discount factor delta equals 0.75. The present biased agent also has the short-term discount factor beta equals 0.75. Again, the present biased agent discounts the first period of delay more than the exponential discounter. This figure shows a scenario where the present biased agent has a higher discount factor delta equals 0.9 than the exponential discounter with delta equals 0.75. The present biased agent also has the short-term discount factor beta equals 0.75. The present biased agent discounts the first period of delay more than the exponential discounter. However, 
Due to their higher delta, the present biased agent discounts additional periods of delay less than the exponential discounter and ultimately has a lower total discount for periods further in the future. The exponential discounting model is underpinned by many assumptions. These include time consistency, whereby once the agent starts moving along the consumption path, they are consistent with their initial plan. Consumption independence, whereby utility in period T plus K is independent of consumption in any other period, and outcomes utility is unaffected by outcomes in prior or future periods. Stationary preferences, whereby the utility in time T equals utility time T plus K, the utility function is stationary across periods. And utility independence, whereby all that matters is maximizing the sum of discounted utilities. Decision makers are assumed to have no preference for the distribution of utilities. Under the beta delta model, we are loosening the assumption of time consistency. An agent may change their initial plan over time. However, we maintain the assumptions of consumption independence, stationary preferences, and utility independence.